Hey guys, real quickly, joybuy.com is celebrating their 10 year anniversary and I wanted to let you know that they have a bunch of deals on tech. In fact, the TV I'm reviewing in this video is on sale for less than $350 right now with free shipping. And I'll drop a link below, so make sure to check them out. You know, it's really difficult when buying TVs nowadays. There are so many different brands to choose from, it can get really frustrating. There are so many factors that comes into play when deciding on what TV to purchase. Uh, budget is one of them, the technology, and of course, the quality of the TV. Well, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna be reviewing an affordable 4K TV from Skyworth that goes for less than $350. For those of you that aren't familiar with Skyworth, they are really huge in China, and now they're focusing on the US market. Surprisingly, for less than $350, you get a lot Lot, making the Skyworth very attractable for the average movie buff and gamer. However, there are also things I didn't like about the TV which I'll be going over in the video. So one of the things that makes this TV stand out compared to other budget TVs in the same bracket is that it comes with HDR, which provides a higher level of contrast between light and dark images on the screen to create more realistic image. Another thing I noticed is that some games have trouble detecting the HDR chipset inside the TV. I tried to enable it while playing Uncharted, but it was grayed out because it couldn't recognize it. And that could be a deal breaker for some people since they won't be able to take full advantage of HDR in games. One thing to take note is the picture quality. Out of the box, it's really bad. For some reason, the sharpness was set to 13 by default, making the image look very fake. I had to lower it down to 3 to improve the quality greatly, so do keep that in mind if you decide to pick one up. The viewing angles are pretty good. You get a 170 degree wide viewing angle, and I haven't noticed a significant color shift when watching from the sides. Aesthetic wise, I think it's a good looking TV. Very slim bezels on three sides, a sleek base design, and it's surprisingly very light. It also comes with a wall mount, however the standard base mounts will also work. Near the bottom is where the front firing speakers are and it's not bad. It's not the best, I mean they do get distorted at high volumes and the sound is slightly tinny in some cases. They're also not that bassy, so don't expect to rattle the walls when watching a movie. But like I said earlier, they're not bad. You can watch a movie or play games on it and they won't make your ears bleed. For ports, it's got one USB and an HDMI on the side, which are a little too close to each other than I would have liked. Uh, we also got one USB and two more HDMIs in the back. Personally, I'm not a fan of the vertical orientation as it's a little inconvenient plugging things in, but I realize that this type of setup is standard on most TVs. One thing I like about this TV is the OS. It comes installed with Android TV, which means you have access to the Google Play Store, music, and other Google services. You can hook up your Android tablet, smartphone, and screencast straight to your TV. I would say the interface is user-friendly. It's easy to navigate, and you can find all the popular apps right on the home screen. You also have quick access on the remote itself to Netflix and Google Play. However, I would have preferred YouTube over Google Play, but that's just my preference. Alright, let's talk gaming. So once you hook up your console or game device, the TV will adjust the processing speed and the color to enhance the responsiveness of the display. I mean, don't expect anything similar to a 100Hz refresh rate panel. The TV is capped at 60Hz, so it's not going to be as quick and responsive. But it didn't affect my gameplay that much while playing games like Uncharted. However, playing Fortnite was a different story. Coming from my PC, it was night and day, because shooter games requires the most precision and you can't really get that with 60Hz. So if you're planning on hooking up your PC to this just for gaming, then I don't recommend it. However, if you're playing casual games like RPG, uh, real-time strategy, or even adventure games, then it will get the job done. Alright, so who's this TV for and is it worth it? And honestly, for less than $350, it is hard not to recommend it. You get a lot for the money. And that's kind of the main selling point of this TV. You get a lot for less. 4K resolution, Google Play, HDR, you got great viewing angles and color with decent sounding speakers. So the only downsides on the TV are the low input lag when it comes to gaming and the compatibility or support for HDR technology when it comes to games. Other than that, it has pretty much all the other features you would expect from a smart TV. Now, if the downsides don't bother you, then it's worth picking up. So that does it for my review of the Skyworth 49 U5A. If you guys want to check it out, I'll drop a link to it down below and also a coupon code where you can get $5 off your purchase. The website is owned by JD.com, which is China's largest online retailer, and they are all committed to ensuring the highest standards of product quality, authenticity, and customer satisfaction. They're actually celebrating their 10-year anniversary on June 18th, where they will be having anniversary sales, so be sure to check them out on other cool tech deals. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.